From the TraderGuy.com, this is Chris taking a look at the U.S. dollar in general. And you can see I have the Dixie, the dollar index, on the weekly chart in front of you. And we are at an important inflection point uh, because we have seen the market make a pretty significant low here and then bounce from there. And now the question is, uh, are we going to continue to see that area hold? And we have a pretty mixed picture at the moment and i will show you on some of the major pairs exactly what i'm looking at you can make an argument for this area at least so far holding up it's only the end of the day tuesday in the week so i mean you can only read so much into that candlestick but it does look like we are trying to turn around now i find that interesting because at the same time if i pull up the uh aussie dollar you can see that um, I released the video about a week ago that suggested we might be seeing further weakness. And then we've just chopped around and we shot straight up in the air during the Tuesday session and then gave it all back. It was kind of difficult to handle. The uh, coronavirus numbers are starting to peak in some places and Tokyo is talking about locking back down. And, and I don't know, pick your excuse, but that's what's happened. And if you remember, um, you know, I had suggested that this candlestick and then followed by this one in the month certainly was telling you something uh, on the 50 day EMA. So now let's take a look at the euro and on the monthly candlestick, you can see that it, of course, has been very bullish. Not a huge surprise. We've gone straight up in the air. I drill down to the week. You can see, you know, still bullish so far, but not as bullish um more of a grind and then to the daily candlestick we formed a perfect shooting star now i don't jump in and take trades just because a particular candlestick formed do not get me wrong but what i see here is the likelihood of the market pulling back a little bit maybe even sub 120 to find support in this area it's really not until we break down below 1950 that I would be looking to short this market. And I think there's high probability of a fake out here. Uh, don't get me wrong. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see this market turn around and, and break down. But until we wipe out this candlestick for, for Monday, I'm just not convinced because quite often what you'll see is a breakout above resistance, a shooting star, a lot of newer traders come in and start shorting, and then the market memory comes into play and we go higher. So that's how things look right now. Um, but obviously, it's a lot of this is an open question. Uh, Dollar CAD shot higher, and it is worth noting that there is a um, significant round figure offering support at 125. So that, of course, is worth paying attention to. Um, but really, at this point, you know, we still haven't really broken out. So I think. The dollar may have a little bit more strength and uh, then turn right back around. That's kind of been the attitude. The real key for me at this point is euro dollar uh, below 119.50. Then I start buying the dollar against most things, uh, especially if oil starts to sell off. Then this dollar cad becomes a massive trade because when I pull at the monthly chart, you can see, you know, we are in an area that if it's going to bounce, it's going to bounce in this general vicinity. It's a monthly chart. I understand it's a 500 pip range here of support. But when you look at the big picture, you can clearly see that there is something going on right around this area. So that's why we're fighting so hard against the loony. Uh, furthermore, Canada has its own issues. So let's not forget that either. Now, that being said, that 119.50 level is crucial. We break down below there and stick below there uh, on a daily close. That, I think, is going to be your signal that the dollar is going to start strengthening again. Otherwise, look for a head fake and then a continuation of dollar weakness.